so i would like to share uh, regarding jill so yes. she was uh, yeah so she was having a condition known as spinal canal stenosis and she was suffering from a, at least one year with backache mm-hmm. and she was having uh-huh. uh, she was taking this gabapentin <laughs> tablets how many at least five five tablets a day 500 mg yes jill <laughs> Actually, I was taking. If I took five, I would have been just underneath the table. I took four of the gabapentin because the back pain was pretty debilitating. And uh, prior to starting the detox, I'd already talked with Dr. Pranoff, deep bow to you, and he put me on a four-month regimen of all of these supplements. And I couldn't begin to pronounce them or tell you what they were, but I'm in probably the end of the second month, maybe going into the third month, but I'm not kidding. Uh, you know, and I've got still a week to go on the detox, but I'm not having the problems with my back that I was, you know, yesterday I was out gardening a lot, felt a little stiff in my back, but the the, the sharp pain that was going down my buttocks from the arthritis and the spinal stenosis, I'm just not having it. And the, the tingly stuff on my left leg that I was having, very minimal, but it, it's kind of blown me away, actually. Wow. <laughs> so my intent is uh, certainly to keep up with uh, all the rest of the um, supplements that, that Dr. Pranoff initially uh, uh uh, prescribed for me, and I still have a week left to go on the detox. But I, I'm I'm just kind of blown away that my back pain is, you know, it's just not there like it was. I'm just wow. in total gratitude. I don't quite understand it. You know, it kind of feels like it's a little magic or something. I don't know if all of these supplements were catered just for inflammation and that kind of thing, but whatever it is, it's worked. So I'm in deep gratitude. Again, deep bow, Doc, <laughs> to you. <laughs> and so, so now, you, what, <laughs> yeah. Would you, would you like to say something about your binging on sweets? Oh, <laughs> Yeah, well, I'm kind of a binger, a sugar binger. I lost some weight, you know, on, on this, and my weight is not real high anyway. But I haven't binged on sugar. I'm a little concerned once I get off of the uh, regimen. I'm hoping I'm not going to go back to old habits. It, so I'm kind of on the lookout for that. Uh, but I haven't binged on sugar since I started this. Even though there's been a lot of stuff around the house because we've had kids around here over Memorial Day weekend and stuff. I haven't gotten into the cakes or the candy or the ice cream, which is wow. my downfall. So so that's that's good. And I'm just aware that that, you know, well, I think it takes a while for all of these things to get settled into your body system and change old habits. So I'm my fingers are crossed that I don't go back to that. Um, uh, and I'm a little bit more aware. So anyway, I'm a happy camper. I feel clear. I feel good. And I'll keep up when it's, I get off of the whole detox. My, my intent is to keep up with the broth and the veggies and the mung soup, maybe not every single day, but, but I'd like to do this once every four or five weeks because it's been great. It's been a good thing for me.